a few things I bought, and a few things I have my eye on. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura, and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. Speaking of feeling your best, I have not been feeling my best this week, so I really didn't get a chance to do the research that I usually do for each video. So this video is going to be a little, little bit more relaxed. I'm going to show you a few things that I bought. And quite honestly, you guys, I'm still not feeling 100%, but I told you I'm going to be here on Sunday and Wednesday, so I'm going to be here every Sunday and Wednesday. So we're just relaxing, we're talking, I'm showing you what I got, and let's start with the bag. Oh, but before we do, you guys look at this cup. Look at this mug saucer situation that I got from Amazon. This is absolutely adorable. I love that it's kind of bubbly here. I just think this is completely extra and unnecessary, but also so necessary. I'll leave it in the description box if you want one. I love these. So if you've been with me for about a month or two, you've seen me talk about this denim J.W. Anderson bag at nauseum. I've asked you about it. We've had conversations. Some of you had it and you told me that you love it. And ultimately, though I love that bag, I decided to get it, not in denim, but in this color. I love the style of this bag so much, but because I am not a denim person um, like my innate style does not include a whole bunch of denim. I knew that getting it in the denim way, I wouldn't, wouldn't use it as much or I wouldn't use it past a year or two, right? And because I'm more of a cream and gold type of girl or black and gold or neutrals and pinks, I knew that I would get more use out of this color. I also kind of contemplated getting this in silver, the chain in silver. And even though I'm loving silver right now, I know that gold is something that I gravitate towards more and something that I would get more use out of into the future. So I love the way this bag is shaped. I love the leather on this, like I'm smelling the leather as I'm talking to you. It fits everything that I need and it is such a statement. I was again, and this is, this is a lot, I know, but what if I get it in black too? Like, do I need it in black? Probably not, because <laughs> I have a ton of black bags. But the black and the silver is calling my name. I probably won't get it, but I do think it's a beautiful option. I think I made the best decision for me, and I'm extremely happy with it. Inside is a black hole. Like, you can't, there's no pockets in here. There's nothing. It's just the big black hole of nothingness. So it does fit, like, everything you need. And I have a ton of things in here. I have my makeup bag and my little card wallet, my lotion and my keys. And you know, what's funny is that's actually all I have in there. <laughs> I thought I had more. Actually funny is that because we've been carrying smaller bags for a few seasons, I have been able, been able to condense how much I bring with me. And now that I have a bigger bag, I'm like finding random things to put in here. Something that's not in here is my sunglasses and my AirPods. So those would definitely have been in here. But they really, it really does fit a lot. It's just beautiful and I can't wait to wear it. I haven't worn it yet. I just put stuff in there to show you guys. I haven't worn it yet because I wanted to show you first. I, I wanted to do an unboxing, but let's be real. As soon as I got this thing, I ripped it open <laughs> and I started playing with it. Anyway, this is what I got. The wait is over. I will still continue to lust over the denim version, but for right now, this is what I have. So it is very possible that I have a sunglasses addiction. I have one face, <laughs> but I love a good pair of sunglasses. I've done a sunglasses uh, a collection many videos ago, maybe two years ago. Um, I have sold some since then and I have bought some since then and you could go watch that. But my sunglasses collection is vastly different right now. But I did get a few more. If you watch my latest vlog, you've already seen these. Um, but I know everyone doesn't like vlogs, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to show it to you in this video. 
I will also say that the, the, the Weve sunglasses that I have on the screen right now um, are in the mail. What I really wanted was these um, old Celine sunglasses that I think are just perfect. I love them for what's happening right now and I love the color of these but because they're old I can't find the exact color that I'm looking for so I've settled on these Loewe ones for right now unless I find the old Celine's um, on like Poshmark or something. Let me show you what I got if you are new here or if you don't watch my vlogs. So some of you already might know that I have these from Lorve. I have them in navy blue and I have them in red. And I think that they are very fashiony. I think they fit my face. I love them. I wear them often. But I wanted a navy blue pair of sunglasses that were a little more sophisticated. <laughs> so I got these from Walmart on a crazy sale. And like the box is, the packaging is insane. The box that they come in is substantial. It's just beautiful. I got these from Shopbop because you know the shop bop sale was a thing absolutely adore these sunglasses they are navy blue but they are even darker than the ones from lorve you could tell that these are a little darker they all almost look black in some instances and these are just giving me like oh, oh i love these these are giving me sophisticated vibes um, but, but with a little fun because they are navy blue and they're not black. And it depends on how I'm feeling which ones I would wear. Right? These are very fashion week, very fashiony, very, very fashion in my opinion. These are more daily, very sophisticated. Like the, the lens is a little, is darker. I don't know. I love them both for two different reasons. And I think I'm good on the navy blue sunglasses front. Like how many pair of sunglasses do you need that are navy blue? But these are on sale, if I could find them again, I would definitely put them in the description box. And these are Lorve, and I'm pretty sure they still have these. I also have these in red. If you watched my vlog, you saw me in these. And I love these more than I love the blue ones, if I'm being honest, because, oh my goodness, I I, I love these. But they're both from Lorve. I will put them in the description box. The other pair I got were from the Linda Farrow and uh, Magna Butchram collab and I got these from Revolve for a really good price. I'm I'm assuming because they are so dramatic they were on sale because a lot of people don't want a whole bunch of drama. <laughs> but you know I love a little bit of drama sometimes. I can be the glam girl. You've probably seen these on other influencers and the best part to me is this rhinestone on the top of the sunglasses. These are just Oh, these are so glam, bro. I adore these and they look really good for my face shape. And I got them for such a steal. That is the biggest part. I love luxury. I love the luxurious things, but I love them even more when they're on sale. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you guys that I've never paid full price for a luxury pair of sunglasses because I definitely have. But when they're on sale, I like them more. Okay, so these are fabulous. I recently wore these um, to a rooftop that you will see in the next vlog of me and my husband. I wore them with my Zara feather blazer. And the drama that that whole outfit gave, I was absolutely loving. As you'll see it in the vlog. I'm excited to show you guys that. But yes, I love them. And I will put them in the description. If I can't find them on sale or they're just too much for you, I found these from Amazon that are a really good dupe for the Celine sunglasses. But really you guys are giving a very similar vibe. Like it's the same look. These were probably 15, 10, $15. They come in different colors. If you watched the vlog, I showed you about that too. And yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, it's not the same thing. I want to be clear. These are not as good quality. If you're just looking for a look, this is a fabulous, fabulous option. Along with that sunglasses kind of addiction, I probably also have a shoe situation that I need to handle. If you've been with me for a while, I have the boots. There was always a pair of boots I was showing you, but now it's spring and summer, so the boots are gonna turn <laughs> to something else. Very quickly, if you watch my shorts, you've already seen these. And if you've been with me for a while and you've been watching my videos for the last month or two, you see me talk about these from Sam Edelman. 
and I recently tried them on it was in I don't think I put it in the vlog but the seven was too big and the six and a half was too small and since there's nothing between a six and a half and a seven in those shoes I wasn't able to get them which really was just gut wrenching because I actually love them. But I did get these from Urban Outfitters. I know a lot of you got these um, and I love these. I think they're a very great option for the spring and summer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I love that the heel is low because the other heels were a little bit too high. In fact, I also talked about these from Steve Madden and I told you guys I got them and I did, but I sent them back and I probably should have shown them to you, but I sent them back because Though the heel, though I can walk in heels, <laughs> this heel was high and not very comfortable and I didn't foresee me wearing them. I'm not gonna keep anything just to have it. If I'm gonna wear them or if I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna wear it. So I did send that back as well, which is devastating. But anyway, so I got these. These are much easier to wear. They are a very similar style to my Manola Blonics. They are about the same height as well. These are a little bit more, um, right now, a little bit more fun. I know the a little bit more classic, but I love both. So, you know, depends on how I'm feeling that day. If you haven't gotten these, you should go and look because they had a sale. I know I got them on sale. I know a lot of you got them on sale and they're completely worth it. Very easy to walk in, very trendy, very right now, and I am loving them. From kitten heels to sneakers, I got these, got these and I showed you guys these and I am in love. My feet have really just been thanking me. I, if you're new here, I am not a sneaker girl. So for me to wear sneakers as much as I have, it's just, it's a huge accomplishment. <laughs> it's a huge thing. I know that sounds crazy, but I just, sneakers were just never on my radar, especially living in New York City, it sounds wild. But my feet had been loving me. I put this and this together. I mean, what what are we saying? But I love the fact that these sneakers are not too clunky. I love that they are still very feminine in my opinion. And I might get them in black and white as well because sometimes you just need a pair of black sneakers, right? Then these shoes are the shoes that make the least amount of sense. <laughs> the first were a kitten heel and they were sensible. The second was a pair of sensible sneakers for comfort. And then because I can be the glamour girl, I got these completely over the top, glamorous, beautiful platform shoes. <laughs> so I got them from Bloomingdale's and they were having a 30% off and I was like, yeah, okay, that's for me. I can, I can, I can work with 30% off. I am envisioning these for the summer with a beautiful black slip dress or a very mod 60s inspired dress or a white suit or a white dress. There's so many things to pair these beautiful platform shoes with. I know that, listen, I know they're not for everybody, but I adore them. And these being very well moisturized with the Fenty body butter. Oh, what? Smelling good with some like sunglasses. Listen. I'm ready for the summer, okay? And I'm gonna be wearing these to rooftops and dinners and outside. I just can't wait to wear these. Jazz at night, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about these. Like I said, I know these are not for everyone, but for me and my glamness, I love it. So I'm actually still looking for a white pair of sunglasses. I've looked at these from the Weve, but I still like them, but kind of decided against it only because Everybody has them. And you guys know, I don't really care if everybody has them, but I do want something a little different. So I showed you guys these in my luxury wishlist video um, from Max Mara. They're actually a lot cheaper than a lot of designer sunglasses. So they're still um, on my list of things that I might buy. I like that they, again, are visually light. I didn't necessarily want a heavy white pair of sunglasses, um, but I wanted them to visually be light. And when I mean heavy, I don't mean in weight, I mean visually. You could see through this lens, the frame is uh, thin, even though it's big, it's still visually light. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that. So I'm still looking for those. I told you the Loewe ones are on the way. I want to show you when they come. And I think that's all the sunglasses I need for the summer. I'm saying that now. And if I get some more, I know y'all gonna say something. 
<laughs> I know somebody's gonna say something, but right now, this is where I'm at, okay? I'm I'm trying to stick to my guns, but we'll see about that. I adored these earrings from Rachel Comey. Um, I love that they are simple, but bold and a little chic, right? I love that they're not saying too much, but they kind of say a lot. They're not huge, but they have a good statement to them. Come in gold and silver. And though I am leaning towards the gold, because like I said, that's just part of my natural style, the silver looks so fresh. So I'm having, I'm really going back and forth, but the silver looks so fresh and very 2023. I love a good pair of earrings, especially, especially when my hair has to be pulled back like this because I'm getting my braids next week, two weeks from now. Um, but especially when my hair is pulled back like this, I love like a, a nice statement. And I think this is not too much of a statement, but a very chic, simple, and sophisticated kind of statement. So I don't know if I want gold or silver yet, but I'm definitely leaving towards the gold. I was also looking at these earrings. Ah, I think these are beautiful. Such sophistication and just, I love these so much. I see these being worn with a very beautiful navy blue YSL suit and some pointy toe shoes, a clutch, hair pulled back or like a short bob and these earrings i love them i absolutely love them this blazer from mango is sick <laughs> i think this is beautiful i also saw it but how cute is this the cutouts in front it's very trendy i know so it's not gonna last forever but i think it's a nice twist on a classic i do wish though that it came in maybe a black but i definitely do like in a white and then i got a few things from zara only two things because I need to go into the store at Zara. I'm tired of ordering from Zara and then they have to send it back. So anything I'm buying, anything I'm buying that's clothing, I'm gonna try to buy from the actual store. But I did get this gold purse that is not here yet. I think it will look very nice with my sparkly platforms. <laughs> it's a beautiful alternative to the purse that I really wanted. This shell purse from um, Simkai. It's a little more pricey and I decided to get this one instead. It's a similar vibe, even though I prefer the one from Simkai but I just don't see myself wearing it that often. It's a shell, right? That's like, I feel like I would wear that on vacation. I don't know, but it is a decent alternative. And then I got these earrings um, from Zara that I might regret because every time I get a pair of earrings from Zara, I can't wear them for too long because I have very bougie earlobes apparently. They get very itchy for anything that's not gold. Yeah, or sterling silver. So I can't wear them for too long. You know, Zara has some really good earrings right now. I saw these silver half moon ones. They also come in a full round earring. I saw these in gold, which is just very statement, very beautiful. I have some really good earrings right now. I'm not gonna lie. I just can't wear them for too long. So it's a little frustrating. I did get these and these. I was looking for something that was gonna be comfortable this summer. I haven't gotten either of them yet because I just, I just recently ordered them. I did get the Spanx jeans. Forgive me for not trying them on right now. I will do that in another video. I told you guys, I'm not feeling my best right now. The fact that I'm recording this is a miracle because I was not feeling well, but I did get them. They do fit well. I definitely recommend them. I will also say that I think that I've given up on my baggy jeans, uh, on my baggy jeans dreams. Doing those last two videos about styling something according to your style, I realized it's just that about my style and that's okay. I think because I tried to stay in tune or I am in tune with other folks style um, because I just love fashion and I love to see how other people dress. That's oftentimes I forget what I love and because I love it on somebody else doesn't mean I'm going to love it on me. And I think that's what's happening with the baggy jeans and because they're everywhere and I'm gagging over how the girls are styling them. I just, I can't get behind it because I just, it's just not part of me. And I was thinking when they were first in style back in the day when I was a kid, I didn't wear them back then either. I did have a pair of overalls, but mostly I wore blue cut jeans. I wore blue cut jeans. So that's what I'm doing now. And I just, I'm just going to live with that fact and it'll be okay. I like a blue cut jean, the baggy jeans with the cargo is just not me and that's okay even though i still think the girls are eating in these styles i just i don't be eating i'll be sipping 
just don't work for me. It just doesn't work. And of course, I just want to say that I did get my denim trench in. And I know a few of you or a lot of you got yours as well. I'm very happy with it. I do have to bring to the dry cleaners because there is a bit of a smell. I am pleasantly surprised with the weight of the coat. So if she has any more, I don't know. But if you were thinking about it and it's not on pre-order, I would say get it. If it is on pre-order, I would take heed. It's up to you. Hey you guys, that's it. I know this was a different video. I'm a little tired. I didn't have a chance to do everything I want to do. So this is a little, more, little bit more laid back. We'll be back to our regular scheduled programming. But as for right now, I need a little break. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.